Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of my Dungeon Boss PvP series for my normal campaign. As you can see, we have hit level 35, which is our halfway point. So that means we are going to take another look at uh, PvP changes. What are we going to do with our team? What are we going to do for our defense? And uh, see what we can look at as far as uh, working on uh, PvP at this point here. Before we get to that, um, quick shout out to all guild members. We are moving up in the world. Uh, we actually did get to 50 members, but I went through and removed a bunch of inactive ones. So anyone that's looking for a, a lighthearted uh, guild to start out in, um, as far as a starter guild goes, uh, it's pretty much as good as you can get. The only requirement is that you are active. So I'm uh, routinely booting people that are offline for more than like three days or so. If you go absent for more than basically the weekend, um, I'm going to assume that you've probably dropped from the game. So if you're looking for uh, a temporary home, feel free to uh, stop on by and uh, I'd be glad to have you if there's uh, still room. So that being said, uh, you'll notice my gem count is a little bit low. Um, just recently there was a new feature in the Times 10 summon. And so for my 35 PvP rollout, I'm actually introducing Mr. Koros, or Simba as many of us call him. So we're going to be adding a new 3-star hero to my PvP defense. Um, versus what I have now. So when we get to this point here, as far as PvP defense goes, um, basically we've been able to outlast a few. Now as I've been progressing from level 30 into 35, um, this has been getting beat quite a bit. Partially I think uh, just because there's just not enough uh, overall damage there. We're getting to the point in the game where people have started really cashing in uh, on some of the heroic summons. Uh, I'm getting beat by all sorts of uh, legendary and, and good teams coming in. Uh, so if you just look at my record recently, I have a lot of losses. I have a few defenses, but I have a lot of losses as well. And if you look at the teams that are beating me, um, a lot of times it's uh, good uh, three-star teams that are coming in here and, and uh, taking me down. So that's not to say that some other ones haven't, but this one here just uh, brute force overleveled me. I mean, there's going to be ones that I just can't uh, hang in there with. So we are actually going to bring in Koros instead of Nimriel. And then uh, I'm not sure if I want to leave Yasmin as a healer. She's been doing pretty well, but she dies pretty easy pr from pretty much any... Uh, three-star hero that comes in um, unless I put some decent runes on her which uh, I don't have a ton on her right now so um, I could either go four three-star heroes or I could leave Yasmin in there um, so for now I think uh, what I'll end up doing is I'll I'll put uh, Koros in instead of Yasmin um, but first we have to upgrade him so let's at least get him caught up and actually you can uh, fast forward through the video at this point if you want uh, there's going to be nothing uh, overly uh, impressive to watch here so just a little bit of XP uh, updates here
Okay, so Koro should be ready to go for PvP defense. I'm going to go ahead and I will swap him in there. We're going to put him um, right after Grognog, I think is going to be the best place for him. And then we will follow up with Nimriel. And then uh, this team will still get beaten by a hardcore Shatter team. Um, but uh, we'll see what Grognog can do and then follow it up with Koro. So we'll see how this one fares. So we will leave this one uh, idle for a few days see what we can rack up for pvp defenses i will be uh hitting 36 very soon so um we'll uh probably see level 36 defense instead of level 35 but uh, with that said let's get into our 35 raids here so first things uh that i want to point out is i'm at the point where um pvp has changed just a little bit again and we are now dealing with the easy medium and hard raids versus uh, just straight up uh, level or league raids. So at level 35 where I'm at, um, I have a couple of different options here. Um, realistically, it's just a matter of looking at which one I think I can beat. And, and this one here, I think I can actually do pretty well on. Um, but otherwise we could go with our easier raids if we wanted to. This one here actually looks more difficult than what the hard raid is. Um, not sure what the the scoop is here power is 5100 versus 66 i wonder if this is just a little bit over inflated or if there's some serious runes that i don't know about really it's just a couple of runes i'm actually going to pick this one here and take the crowns and then we're going to work in um basically we're going to switch up and use koros instead of uh um nimriel so the only thing that's going to happen here, the lead off with uh, Malice, I'm not sure who she's going to actually target. Um, we'll find that out uh, soon enough, though. Um, but I feel like I should be able to pretty much brute force win this one without too much uh, issue here. So the nice thing about the changes in the PvP is some of you that are having difficulty raiding, uh, regardless of what phase you're at, if you're in your early 30s or if you're in your late 60s, with the change to PvP, you should at least be able to find some raids that you can win. And I can't guarantee you're going to be able to get to the to the very top and get those uh, um, legend rewards, but uh, I think things would be a little bit more obtainable at this point now. Um, but uh, PV PvP keeps evolving, um, so you basically just have to take it one day at a time. That's part of the reason that I make these videos every five levels just to address any uh, new changes that happen with the, the pre-seasons as they go from season to season. So I didn't get any kills with Grognog, but the speed thing is part of why I want to have Koros in here now, because pretty much Grognog, Koros is going to kill a lot of teams except for the, uh, the Shatter teams. So I probably won't kill Stonefist. I probably won't even kill Yasmin if she's got decent defense. Um, but um, Jabber's toasted and Malice is going to be toasted as well. Um, I sped through the runes that I put on Koros. I basically put um, all attack runes on him. I didn't uh, put my best runes on him because uh, I just don't need that. And honestly, I don't have uh, the extra gold necessary to level those up. I just don't want to waste a ton of gold right now um, because I am gearing up for a very serious uh, tower run coming up very soon. And uh, I'm probably going to run out of gold just uh, upgrading my heroes. So I'm a little bit uh, concerned about how that's going to go. But uh, we'll address that in the next video pretty much. Um, but yeah, there's nothing he can really do to, to beat me here. I, I don't know why this one was so much more powerful than the first one. The first one must not have had any runes on there at all. So um, if you happen to have gotten Koros already, I definitely... Uh, recommend trying to get him ascended as fast as possible um, usually at this phase of pvp um, the teams that have the most ascensions particularly on defense a defensive team with ascensions at this point is going to be uh, very crucial here so this team here i wouldn't be able to beat with uh, with my koros team now with grognog leading off and then followed up by igarok so he would pretty much die there so i know i can't beat this one and i don't have really any strong green teams that could uh really soak this damage plus yeah we got some pretty badass runes on this guy too so for his level at least um, so I'm gonna pop down into the lesser one and see what's down here I um, think I should be able to take that one as long as Ponty doesn't kill me he's pretty tough uh, he might kill me we'll see 
Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to get a heal in with Yasmin because I'll uh, I'll slow with Grognog, so I should get all of my guys getting their turn. So we'll see what his Kira does, which isn't ruined heavily. But uh, should be decent, Mr. Zack Attack zero seven two two. I'm guessing Zach's birthday is probably July 22nd. Just speculation. Otherwise, uh, it's just a random set of numbers. Looks like opening attack, we were able to soak pretty well, but the Ponty attack is going to be the one that I'm curious about. I don't think my Kira can kill him. Not quite. If I upgraded my runes on Kira, possibly... But I haven't gotten to the point where I, I care so much about PvP on this account where I really need to have those uh, uh, runes on there yet. Once this account gets further along into its 60s and I start taking it a little bit more seriously, then we'll start looking at endgame runes. Um, I thought Yasmin would have the spirit resistance to really soak that. Um, so this one here, if Grognog and Koros combo doesn't kill them, I'm thinking I'm looking at a loss here. Um, but this has to kill somebody, I think. And it was very not good. Uh, fortunately, the slow. If there was no slow on Grognog's attack, if he ever gets nerfed, that's going to be uh, that's going to be a, a big deal. But fortunately, the slowness. Um, Koro should be able to come in here for the win. And we get the Kira dodge. See that every single day at level 70, and it sucks. And he's got at least one ascension. There goes mine. Double tap on him. And double dodge. How about that? When you get to level 70, you can just expect that all the time. It's the biggest nuisance ever. But you go three on one and then two on one eventually uh, should be able to take him down. All right, so we are going to do one more attack. Uh, so far, Koros is doing what he needs to do. And look at that, one point short. I don't know that that's ever happened where I ended up with one short of the next league. Uh, so basically, we're in a, a must-win situation here. Uh, so this is that same one as before, I think. Yep. So I guess the hard one isn't changing now. Maybe just the easy one is changing. Let's take a quick look at medium. I'm not going to be able to soak that Koros hit, I don't think. Probably going to get killed by that. I could probably kill Overlord. But then we got Kozar. Let's think here. One of these guys is going to get shielded. I don't know which one. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Why not? I don't care if I lose. Um, we're going to see how much we can soak. And actually, Yasmin should be able to soak the Koros hit this time because there isn't an opening attack from somebody else. So once I hit with Grognog, Grognog, Koros, and then heal with Yasmin, might stand a chance. Because um, we know that Koros is going to purge that uh, little shield that Zen's putting up anyways, so... That's one of the best things about Koros, is his mass purging. Um, but how much is this going to hurt on that opening attack? That's what I'm curious. Koros has been nerfed to the point where he can't kill another Koros um, of equivalent level. So realistically, Koros should not kill me. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to save... I'm going to save this. I want to ensure that... I want to make sure that uh, Kozar goes down. All right, so that worked well. That's about what I expected. I didn't think Kira would take that much damage, but uh, we're going to get ourselves a mass slow here. And now, the Koro still has quite a bit of health left. I'm a little bit concerned about that. I do have my Kira AoE left, though, and they are burning. But Kozar is going to hit me. That's going to that's gonna be brutal. All right, we pretty much have to heal. There's nothing else we can do. I guess I didn't... Uh, 
I didn't think it complete. I thought Koros would do more damage than he did against these guys and uh, take some of them out, but I guess that's not the case. I really uh, wish uh, Kira wouldn't have been killed. Um, I feel like I'm still going to win this one. I'm just trying to think of who I actually want to attack first. So Zen is shielded, and honestly, Zen is not a threat here. Overlord is going to taunt, which isn't a problem with Grognog because he's going to double tap. Everybody is slow. So I'm going to attack Koros first because I was hoping for the one-shot kill. I didn't like that he went after Zen. And now I'm going to try and take out Grognog. Such a bummer. I don't think Yasmin can kill him. She's going to die. She did. There she goes. The burn, though. I got him with the burn. And then Kozar. We'll kill him. We'll drop the shield. And Koros for the win. So, it looked a little bit rough to start with because we lost Kira so early, but we still made it through. So, um... I haven't uh, ever really been showing the runes on my heroes, so I'll go ahead and I'll show that just so you can see what my teams are looking like now. Um, just so you can get a glimpse of, of what's going on. I'm, I don't have super powerful runes or anything like that, um, but I do technically have the some of the best ones that I have personally on here. Um, so really just uh, Bulwark, Bulwark, Battle, Bulwark. And another battle so I don't even have him decked out for um, attacking really Kira has a missing rune how about that should be skill and skill a battle rune and missing rune and then a defense so nothing great so just looking at these you know they're nothing that you can't duplicate yourself so Koros I threw on skill attack 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 and another attack so he should be doing more damage than what he had been but uh, when you're going against uh, water heroes you're going to see uh, a reduction and it doesn't even ma matter what's on Yasmin she's got junk she's got all these one stars and a couple little two stars so um, so that is our level 35 attacks we are going to like I said we'll leave it idle for a few days and then we will uh, whip up our 35 defenses we'll take a quick peek see if anybody jumped in here which they have not, so um, we'll come back in a couple days when that's uh, up and uh, um, populated. Hopefully we get some videos out of it and they maintain them uh, in the battle log. Um, if not, uh, we'll at least uh, review them, see what's up and how successful it's been, and then uh, consider any possible changes. So until then, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting my channel. If you like this video, please show your continued support by hitting that like button. And be sure to check out both my YouTube channels for new content all the time. And always remember, peace is a lie, there's only passion. We'll see you next time.